紹介長としてお付き合い願いたいロセッティ紹介長はいイレネオさんはいえオルランド紹介長 All right, this episode of Dahlia in Bloom, episode eight, was awesome. I really felt like this episode was just pop, 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 lightning quick. I feel like there was so much that happened this episode. You know, Dahlia's been establishing the Rossetti company, you know, and through the trials and tribulation of having Wolf try out her weird socks uh, that, you know, basically. Protects them against, you know, slime and and goner and gonorrhea or whatever the hell they're they're protecting against foot fungus. Uh, it, it gained a lot of popularity. Basically, she now has like I guess you could call it a contract with the army, basically like the monster subjugation team, and they want all kinds of different socks, all kinds of different sizes, different features. They want their feet protected. Which totally makes sense. Like, you don't want your toe falling off as you're trying to do a specific task or whatever. So she's just basically got like a I would I would I would I would put this up against like a big government contract that that her company just got. And it took basically like a mini army of uh merchants and people and guild and advisors to make this happen. She had to talk to the clothing guild, she had to talk to the different uh monster subjugation team she had to talk to wolf wolf ended up being her um what do they call it? like guarantor uh she ended up working with one of the dudes from the from the trade guild and he's stepping down to join dahlia's company and you know it's basically just blowing up and booming and this whole entire episode is really focused around you know more relationships that carlo had very carefully concocted through his time but it's now transitioning into dahlia as well too she also came up from the orlando company which is where that piece of shit tobias was from um you know his brother or whatever gave gifted her what was going to be her uh wedding gift which was a fairy horn or a unicorn fairy horn or something like that really really cool stuff there as well too and uh obviously you know wolf and, and dahlia are getting closer uh to each other as well too as Wolf continues to basically just fall in love with Dahlia, you know, as he's trying not to fall in love, but that's exactly what's happening. But I really felt like this episode was just really quick and just hit on, like, a lot of different points. And I love how it's just really establishing Dahlia, you know, in this world. I love how it's establishing kind of, like, her company. I love how it's establishing, you know, kind of the products that she's going to be putting out. I love how it's establishing her income stream that she's going to end up having, you know, through a lot of different means. You know, she really has the income stream through her, you know, her weatherproof uh, jackets and, and material that she has. She has the foam stuff, basically, you know, to wash your hands and stuff that that's booming that she gets a percentage of. She now has all of these different socks and stuff that's going to be, you know, taken out. She's going to have to take uh, an apprentice or not apprentice, but like an assistant. So she can pump out more of these things. She's going to have to work at the clothing company. Like, I just love all these different moving parts that it had. And by the time that I was like, you know, almost done absorbing it, the episode was done. And I was like, ah, man. So now we're going to move on to the next episode, uh, which, you know, she has now requested from the Orlando company too. you know, a lot of fairy glass, which I'm assuming she's going to try and uh put in uh rotation you know the glasses that she created for wolf uh and then now she has that really cool unicorn part as well too but just a lot of stuff was just happening this episode and i was like this was a great episode i was really entertained i was really just absorbed by the episode i was absorbed by everything that was going on and then by the time i blinked you know and i was like oh, okay the episode was done and I'm like, yeah, that's how you do an episode is you just get me completely absorbed in it and then you you turn it off on me. At least that's how I felt this episode. So this was a really good episode of Dahlia in Bloom. I, I feel like this takes on more of the business side of the, you know, of the show and stuff. But overall, this was just a really, really great episode. And as Dahlia and Wolf continue to get closer, hopefully we get some romance before the end of the season as well, too. But yeah. Uh, episode number eight, I have to put it up there. I would say this was a nine out of ten episode for me. I loved everything that this episode did. So I won't waste time talking about it anymore. I'll be really quick in and out. Nine out of ten episode. This episode, Chef's Kids, fantastic. Another great one for Dahlia and Bloom. So sorry this video was late. I was on vacation. I'm also under the weather. Uh, so yeah, I'm really interested to see and hear your guys' thoughts and read your guys' thoughts in the comments below. But I'll see you guys next week for episode number nine of Dahlia and Bloom over the weekend. All right, stay up. I'll see you then, my friends. Peace.